I'm with the Dan Little Boogie. And I just got. Toy World's Devastator. Oh, yes. The adventure continues. All his parts are here, ready to be assembled. Is there anything else you can do? He thinks he's an athlete. Yeah. Wait. Hey, Dr. Luck. Ooh. Setting for his testicles. Take it! Take it! Take the leg! So this one... This one is... Roughly, what, 20, 20 inches, 21 inches. Of course, there's uh, Cell Studios, Unicron, there's Armada Unicron, and this thing actually looks like it could sort of, it's obviously not as big as um, Mr. Haslab over there, but I mean, he at least looks like he could probably fight him. This thing is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be just by looking at it. Um, let's get a comparison, as we always do, because it's my obsession. Uh, let me go over yonder. Was I prepared? No, of course not. Why? Why would I be prepared? So that's crazy. That's the... Uh... Yeah, I guess the Combiner Wars one. And it's just so much smaller. That thing is huge. More, you know, like... This turns out to be just an excuse to trans or translate transform the sound wave real quick. Sound waves barrier. Oh, this thing's got little tassels. Come on, bro, you gotta get your hands. Boom, he is not even a leg. Yeah. So, this is actually kind of neat. Like, I saw this, uh, I wasn't originally gonna get the Toy World one because it's way too freaking expensive, but they had just uh, apparently released a black version of it, a la, and uh, the, there was a company selling it for, uh, 500 and you know with $150 shipping, but I'll say this he got here really freaking quick from I think Japan I guess um, Or uh, probably China whatever the uh, I Actually like overall like yeah, I agree with a lot of the things I've seen about it being a pain in the ass um, To put together because it I struggle bust on a struggle bust not gonna lie like the pieces didn't, some pieces didn't seem to really want to completely connect, but we made it work, obviously. So, um, I really didn't even want to do a video on that so much as I just kind of wanted to do like a tribute to Devastator. Hi. No, fuck it. It's gonna be a pain in my ass, but I'm gonna do it. Devastator, contestant Devastator. Devastator, 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 and last contestant, Devastator. Woo! I can, I can totally party. Prepare for a brutal extermination of your dance floor. Alright, 
after much consternation and frustration, we have the Devastator Army. We've got... These two are the same thing, but it was yellow, so I had to get that. But I feel like those are remakes of, of the original size version, but sort of slightly cell shaded or whatever. You've got the um, NBK. You got the the movie, uh, crap, crappy Michael Bay movie version, but actually kind of a lot of fun to transform. Um, you got the yeah NBK. You got the Jim Bao with the upgrade kit. So he's got the extra what inch and a half, two inches in the thigh thigh extenders. Uh, Combiner Wars. And then the biggest one of all, the Toy World. And, uh, the... Ah, man, it's the OG. It's the first combiner. You got, uh, nine inches. Fourteen inches? Fifteen if you count his back thing, you know. Well, yeah, I guess uh, fifteen if you count his back thing, but he's about, well, their head's about the same place. Um, Nineteen on the Jim Bow. You got... Seventeen and a half on Power of the Primes. Or Combiner Wars, whatever. Uh, and then Mr. Giant over here is, I have him kind of tilted, so I think he can actually go a little bit higher than what I have him at. So we're going to go ahead and say he's at at least 20, if not 20 and a half, possibly 21 if I've got his head straight. This is definitely 20, 21 to 22, so it depends on where you stop, consider the height at. And that's pretty impressive considering Mr. Unicron's head's like 25 and a half and 27 or whatever if you count his horns. So, um, yeah. Still has a warm place in my heart and hope probably every I can't stop eating. But he's honestly, what? I remember seeing that on the show, and then when you got to see him in the movie, it was awesome. It was just like... Decepticons, match for the kill! Cup, Hot Rod, look! Devastated. So much of that was just epic. It was just like, that was such a cool part of the movie. And like, Dino Bots go down to break him up, and Toy just kicks Grimlock in the face. <laughs> smashes, is it Snarl? Let's try to just smashes him so bad that the animation actually made his eyeballs pop out. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Separate from time and space before going back to him. Actually, Mr. Triceratops fucking knocks him into the building at least. Before the before Swoop just gets teabagged by random debris. Good job. But they at least, you know, it was just like it was like, damn, good old Devastator kicking ass. And, you know, the Constructicons are cool as hell. It's like. Nobody would follow an uncharismatic boar like you. Nobody calls Soundwave uncharismatic. Anyway, there was a good. It was like a, I always thought it was really neat because it was like a nice balance of intelligence but destruction. And the Constructicons were cool because it's like they actually made sense. Like you had an actual construction team, and they 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 made it was logical. It was just like everything about it um, was was about. You know, you're, you're the separate parts 
or tearing things down, getting everything ready to, for construction. And then Devastator could build stuff, or he could just break that shit down even quicker, because he's a beast. Um, and so you look at some of the other combiners that are just kind of like, how can we throw random shit together? Case in point, Abominus is just like, okay, it's just just random shit. You can literally throw anything into it. Where the Devastator just has a legitimate, I am I build shit, man. I break shit, and I am actually made of stuff that you see on construction sites. I don't know what the hell is in some of these combiners. Um, you know, even one of my favorite ones, like, uh, what, Calculation Man, the, the Weijing, like, Computron version, it's like that futuristic space age stuff, it's like everything we pictured what the future would look like from the 80s. It's, it's almost ridiculous. I mean, I love it, but it's like Devastator. He was down to earth, man. OG. Um, with that being said, it's like... I was kind of trying to figure out which one uh, was my favorite. And, uh, you know, these guys are pain in the ass because they honestly, their arms don't stay on. They're... they're fall apart all the time, but the, the, this is sort of like the original size that Devastator was. Um, I guess that one kind of resembles how he was, but I love I love the toy, I actually really like the Toy World one, just from its sheer size, obviously, and I got to find it in black, so that's cool. But, um, honestly, the, my two favorites are, are actually the the movie, the real live action movie one. I don't know why. That was just a lot of, it was a pain in the, pain in the ass in, in some ways, but it was actually a lot of fun to transform. Like, I don't know if it looks as aesthetically pleasing, but to me it was just, it was actually, I like that it kind of, they took a different route because, I mean, obviously these guys are pretty much, you know, they could be brothers. Because I'm in the, the same dude. Gotcha. Um, but I really, I really like that one as far as creativity. But honestly, I think the best Devastator overall for proportion and aesthetics and detail and you know just just sort of functionality and durability. Like this Jim Bao one. That that's yeah. So it's, it's a little it's a few inches shorter than the uh, Toy World one. But the everything about it, like just just kind of looks good, and uh, it, it wasn't. It was it was logical to put together. Everything made sense. Honestly, though, I regret. I don't regret owning any of them because that it's it's all it's all gravy. So quite frankly, uh, I just kind of want to do a tribute video just because I just got the. Toy World one in today got here actually really quick, so uh, I was like, "Well, you know what? Devastator needs a tribute." And you know, I was gonna do a whole like, "Oh, which one's better? Let's go through the specs." But it's more like, I just think Devastator's a cool character, and you know, it was it was like Transformers' first attempt to be like, "Hmm, people really liked Voltron." What if we made a Voltron? You can't steal their idea. Can't copyright. Okay. Well, what if we just put a bunch of constructor bots and smashed them into a bigger constructor bot? And it's like, well, I guess that works. And not only does nobody care, everyone's excited about it, and it's awesome because we love shit that combines. Woo! I look at Unicron over there all cocky. He's like, I'm still the biggest, though. Um, really, like, Devastator's not that, that Devastator's really not that much shorter than, uh, Fort Max. He's the same size as Omega Supreme, actually. And, actually, might be a little bit taller, actually. Um, 
granted, uh, Fort Max is about up to here. So, I mean, if you need to see the size comparison, I've done it with that guy. I've done it like every size comparison with that guy. So there's one of the videos has me pretty much comparing everything to him. Um, but yeah, Fort Max is somewhere around here. So, you know, Devastator, Devastator is not too far away from being in the ballpark. And just shout out to shout out to the transformer that almost made me want to become a uh, make man on a construction site. Uh, I'm like, you know what? Manual labor sounds like a good idea. Hmm. Thank you for joining us on the Dan Wiggle Geek. What's up? Prepare to be devastated. On the dance floor.